welcome back students to the last part of today's session in this session we are going to deal with the measurement of time to measure time accurately an atomic clock called as cesium 133 clock was established at the national physical laboratory in uk in 1955 and as we had seen in the first part of this chapter the definition of one second was framed by measuring the time of this atomic clock made out of cesium and 1 second is defined as the duration of 9192631770 time periods of radiation corresponding to the transition between two hyperfine levels of the ground state of cesium 133 atom or else we can say it is the time taken by cesium atom to make 9192631770 vibrations the first cesium clock was built by louis essen at the national physical laboratory in uk this is the picture of the cesium atomic clock this picture is a cesium clock preserved in the national physical laboratory new delhi you can see a table in your textbook which shows us the range and order of time intervals various events are measured in the table along with the order of time intervals so the time taken for various events whether it is very short or if it takes a longer time can be compared using this table some units retained for general use are given in this table along with the symbol and their value in si system a few of the values we may require in doing problems just go to this table here they have mentioned about the common units of minute hour day year liter ton bar curie quintal and standard atmospheric pressure hope you have understood about the measurement of time thank you dear students